Hello, it's Cameron here from Quickshot Films, and today I'll be doing a tutorial on cloning an X6. Uh, I've done this a while ago, but I would like to run over it again because the update changed a little things. Uh, the, yeah, the last tour I did was in X5, and uh, yeah, I'd like to go over this again. So, uh, what I've shown you is what's on the screen right now. Uh, this little cloning video. Uh, you can check out the actual video. Uh, the link. Well, the link will be on the video. But, uh, yeah, okay. It's just the same as what you saw. <laughs> um, it's a very short video, a little test that I've got on my channel right a few days ago, so I'll bring my footage in. Um, just do that by dragging it from the file. And yeah, once you've got that in, you just drag it into your video, uh, stretch uh, project settings, change project settings, and yeah, see. So okay, and basically, uh, what you need is you doing your one one person acting, uh, in my case punching the other guy, and then going to the other side and doing the other person's acting, in this case reacting to the first guy. So what you need to start off by doing is cutting the clip down. So I'll just quickly do this. Uh, also I will stretch this to fit the project. So let's fit the screen so that we can see what we're doing. Okay, then it ends here. Just split that. Play it through a bit. Get to there. Oops, I should pause it. Okay, split that clip. Split that. That through until I finished falling. Bam! Bam! Bow! And he dies like this. <laughs> and then split that. Okay, delete that. Move this audio. Stretch the size again just because I can. Pull that clip in. And that clip. Clip above. Okay. So now you'll need to. Uh, well, we'll just rename this so you can see what we're doing. So this is going to be mask. Oopsie. Actually, no, this will be the clone, sorry. Gotta hear myself. That'll be the clone. And I'll make another video track by right clicking and insert video track and call this mask. Okay. Once you've got that, uh, go into media up here. Uh, library, samples, quick shapes. It should actually be like this. This is what for me when you first open it samples, quick shapes, and drag that in. I've just fiddled around with it for a bit, so uh, that's why it was open. Uh, but anyway, go into the properties of that. It should, when you click on it, just straight away go into general general properties. Um, and tick this box. It stretches it to the screen. And make this rectangle. Now you have a big white square on the middle of the screen. So what you'll need to do is transform. Change that to fit to there. Uh, fit over your guy. So, like, there for me. And, uh, add an effect of... Gushin, bro. So this will, this... thing will end up as a mask in the end. But, uh... Yeah. So I'm just doing the stuff now, so that I'll just come back to it later. Like, dragging that out, otherwise my head will be faded at the top. So I'm just... Yeah, make sure you pull those out if your head goes over the edge or your legs go over it. Yeah, so basically you just need to make that mask fit over your body completely. One of your characters. Of this guy's body. Okay, so once you've done that, after all that, if you understood what I was talking about, uh, click on that mask and change its general properties. Uh, to click on the track, I mean, change its general properties to uh, the blend mode to mask. Oh yes, that's why I didn't work. <laughs> All you need to do first is insert a video group and drag these into here. If you don't do that, that's what will happen, and it's not brilliant. It took me a while to figure out how to do it properly as well. Okay, so once you've got that, and you can see both the characters, uh, you need to match up your clips. So I'll just speed through me doing this now. So I've matched up the clips now, so my timing's correct. Uh, and yeah, you can see that this mask kind of 
intrudes on my character a little bit, so to fix that we'll need to use keyframing to move the mask as he moves. Uh, so yeah, it's a bit annoying because my ha hand hangs there, really weird, really strangely here, but uh, okay, doesn't matter. Uh, so, if I go back to here, just trim these down, so they're not, oopsie, just trim that down. Make this a bit shorter, just because we can. Go over it. Actually, no, we need to Okay, and yeah, that's the video pretty much finished. You can leave it at that, but it looks really sh shoddy with the little fade mark there. But uh, yeah, if you get the idea, you can move away from the store right now. But this is yeah, the basic idea. Um, so now you just need to do keyframing. So this is little bit different. Uh, click on your mask, go transform, go to the show of keyframes, so transform, and analog keyframe where you want to, we wanted the uh, mask to move to, and add one slightly before it. Uh, yeah, add that keyframe, on that, on that, key, on that first keyframe you added, uh, stretch it around so that he's not faded. And yeah. Then go to back to this first keyframe. Make sure it isn't faded. That should be all good. So, play through. Looks pretty good. Uh, if I drag this out. And make it match up a bit. Make it go for the whole thing. Could possibly be a bit better. Yeah, that looks better. Because uh, before it was like jumping away and it went back to this shot. So, like fully that shot. Which looked a bit funny. So, yeah. What you can do is fade out of this shot or something into this one again. So that doesn't look so glitchy, but. Yeah, this is the effect. <coughs> Hope you guys liked this tutorial. Uh, as an update from last one, uh, the few things had changed when that was updated, like the transforming and uh, yeah, just how these, this side bit worked and adding the effect of Gushing Bar and stuff. It all changed, so I needed to re-update this tutorial. And uh, for people with X6, if you have X5, check out my old tutorial on the screen now, uh, if that's what you wanted. But yeah, the basic idea is still the same, it's just a few controls are in different places and stuff. So I hope you enjoyed, uh, yeah make sure to like, favourite and comment, uh, if you comment having any questions I will make sure to answer them back, uh, or just any responses to this video I will answer back, uh, anyway, uh, I just like being part of the comments and so that people can see I am still there, um, but yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, check me out on Battlebrains Games. We do I do a couple of gameplays on there. If you want, you can check that. Uh, I also do. I've also done a couple of VFX videos on that channel. But yeah, and uh, this link to them will be on the screen right now on the top left corner. Uh, if you want to check that out, and yeah, make sure to subscribe to that channel and my channel, and <laughs> just to get more videos from me. Because uh, I try and make them high quality and high standard, so I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Goodbye.